this summer prior to us uh, going over to the Bahamas as we were practicing leading up to that trip. Uh, each day before practice, uh, we had an assigned reading, a chapter in this book, Relentless, which is uh, written by Tim Grover, who uh, is a trainer uh, for a number of NBA players. And in his book, he talks about a mentality of being relentless in everything you do. And for us this year, I thought as we headed into the summer uh, and headed into this season, I wanted to have our guys uh, have that mindset of, you know, never stopping, um, constantly striving to be better, getting yourself in the zone. Pretty much what it sounds like, you know, just not stopping. You just keep getting after it. And it's, uh, it's from a book that we read. Coach Senderhoff had us read it in the off season. And it helps us uh, get our focus right and our minds right. And we put on the back of our shirts to remind us that we always need to play relentless. Be more than what's expected. You know, do what's more than expected. And when you do it, don't think about it, you know. Be hungry, you know, and that's what I think a lot of us are bought into being hungry, but we got to be hungry all the time. And I think that's what he tries to preach every day in practice. That's why I think he put relentless on the T-shirts. Well, we got T-shirts, and on, on a lot of our T-shirts that our kids have on the back, it says relentless on it. Uh, for those that get to the games early, you may see guys shooting around in those prior to games. And, uh, and in the locker room, we have, you know, the, the acronym relentless. It's more of a mentality uh, that I want our guys to have individually and collectively and, and really never taking our foot off the, off the throttle. Where your mind is before the game, so you have to go into what the book talked about is going a lot into the zone, going into your zone. So that's the best thing you can try to do before a game is get into your zone and when you're in the zone nothing else matters. A closer and a cleaner. And in the book they said that LeBron James which is my favorite player, was a cleaner. And a cleaner is a guy that just does enough sometimes. He doesn't do it all the time. And a closer is someone like Kobe Bryant, you know, relentless. Never, never worried about the moment he know he's going to take the shot. He know he's going to make the shot. He's never worried about missing. You know, he, he just get it done. And, you know, that's, that's what I tried to take away from it. You know, just try to be a leader. I do think this team really, really works hard. Uh, I, I think they enjoy being around each other. Uh, I think they want to be coached. And uh, I think, you know, this was a book that everybody read uh, each night. You know, there were a couple questions that we asked from day to day, and it would be different guys that would respond. I didn't really think everybody would read the book, honestly. But, I mean, when we had to have, like, we would come in before practice, and coach asked questions, and guys knew the answers to the questions. So, you know, this, this team is a good group of guys. Everyone likes each other. Like I said, the trip in the Bahamas, you know, we had so much fun. It's just, it's just a new team this year, and it's, it's so it's just good. That term, when we say relentless, uh, that's the mindset that we want to have. And, uh, you know, if there's a loose ball, you got to dive on it. Uh, if there's a play to make, you got to make it. And, uh, and you got to do it over 40 minutes. In the coaches versus cancer game, when you saw Dev, dive on a loose ball off the tip. That, that's the mentality we need to bring each day uh, as January, February, and March rolls around. Hopefully, you, you'll see that continue to play itself out on the court. Coach has showed us a clip, Michael Perini against Buffalo, and they had the game won, I think. One of the guys from Buffalo tried to go up and dunk the ball, and Mike Perini had fouled him, like, real hard, like, you know, just to not let him get a bucket, you know, and and that just showed you, like, pride that he had to play for Kent. And he wasn't going to let that man get that easy bucket. And it's just like, he, a coach was trying to show us, you know, be like him, you know. It was a hard foul, not giving up and ones, not giving up layups. Uh, that's all part of the concept of being relentless on the floor. Uh, Mike Perini, I mean, he didn't want to give up a dunk. And he wasn't going to let anyone do that. So just, he's just being relentless, you know. He had a killer attitude. We got a thing up in the locker room called the Wego Board. And it's stats that's not in the stat line at the end of the game, like um, diving on the floor, taking the charge, and one, deflections, you know, stuff like that. Those things, those small things win games. It takes up about half the locker room. It's called the Wego Board, which you, you just mentioned. And uh, the, the theory behind that is that, you know, every player has an ego. Um, but there's things that help we as a team go and win games. Uh, 
and they're all things that don't, don't show up in the stat sheet, which is something we talk about all the time and uh, you know, talk to our guys about getting we go points all the time is uh, it, it, it's different things. It's causing a, a tie up on a loose ball. It's getting an offensive rebound on a missed free throw. It's diving on the floor. Uh, it's attempting to take a charge. It's a deflection. All things that you don't see in the stat sheet and that unless you, uh, unless you see the game and watch the game, you may not have an appreciation of it setting a screen to get a guy a shot. You know, the, the person who gets the shot gets the points. The person who passes the ball gets an assist. But how about the person who set the screen that really created that opportunity? It's making sure that those don't go unnoticed and that those are valued amongst our team. Everyone is bought in, you know. You know, I think our record is kind of showing that being eight and two in a 10 game span. Everybody is just in tune to, to winning together for the program and for every guy in the locker room. And I think everybody that come off the bench, all 15 guys is just in tune to what we're doing as far as being relentless. We have kids come here from all over the country uh, they come here because we've won, uh, and, and they come here for that reason. Um, you know, again, I, I say this, and this isn't meant as anything other than our team. We, we can't play like pretty boys. We, we got to play like uh, tough, hard-nosed kids. Those are the type of kids we recruit. Try to recruit great kids, but on the floor, uh, you, you can't be a pretty boy. And you got to play hard. You got to be willing to scrap. You got to be relentless. <laughs>